Hi everyone, I'm Rincey and this is Rincey Reads. Today I'm going to be reorganizing my bookshelves. Now I have never done a major reorganization of my shelves since I've gotten them. Basically my method of keeping books on my shelf is as I read them and finish them, I put it on the next available slot on my bookshelves. Now there are certain sections where I've put like series together or books by the same author together just because they look nicer together on the shelf, but I've never really taken everything off the shelves and then put everything back on in a new order. Another thing is that you guys don't really see all of my books in the videos obviously because you only see like two or three shelves in the background. I have books everywhere in my room. There's my shelves, there's books back here, there's books in these actual drawers, there's books on my desk, which I'm not going to show you because everything is a mess in my room currently. And I've also been wanting to call my collection for a little bit. I do this pretty regularly. like. I have a stack right now sitting next to my desk of books that I want to get rid of, but I've been wanting to do like sort of a major overhaul for a little while now. So I figured since it is currently Thanksgiving weekend, spoiler alert, I record my videos in advance, and I have time, I figured I would go ahead and just take everything off the shelves, get rid of the things that I don't want, and then put everything back on in a new order. I will explain the order once I am done. So yeah, let's get started. Oh, my hair looks super crazy. Okay, well, as you can see behind me, my shelves are cleared. I have everything down here. My nonfiction books are down here on the floor. My books that I'm giving away are all piled up right here. Um, and then I have a couple of books here I need to deal with, but that will be dealt with later. My fiction books are all on my bed, and then I have some comics and graphic novels sitting down here. I am organizing kind of by genre. I'm not getting super deep into it because that requires way too much work. So I'm just doing fiction, nonfiction, graphic novels. I've dusted my shelves, and then I'm going to start putting everything back. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, it is like 5 p.m. now. It took me like three hours to do that with a couple of breaks um, because that was exhausting, but I'm done with my bookshelves. They don't look drastically different than they did before because my bookshelves aren't really messy. They just weren't organized very well. So I'm just going to run through this really quickly so you guys can see how I organize my books. On the top, um, let me focus. <laughs> um, this is something I got for Christmas, but these first three shelves are all my nonfiction books and what I did is I broke these up into genres fiction nonfiction and then comic books and graphic novels um, and then I basically organized them by last name ish um, 
what I really did is I kind of organized them by size and last name. So I put them all in alphabetical order and then I was like rearranging them based on size because for me, I don't like it when bookshelves are all like zigzaggy, like the tops are, look all weird. I like it when it's as even as possible. So these shelves are nonfiction and then down here I have my single issue comics as well as my comic books and or graphic novels and bind ups on this shelf with some room to grow. Down here I just have some things I'm keeping. Um, I have my complete Shakespeare from college which I always just keep on the bottom shelf because it's really heavy and if I put it on a top shelf it'll bend the shelves because these are just cheap Ikea shelves. Um, then down here that stack is mostly like that part down there is like books I've had since I was a kid. I didn't have a lot of books as a kid. Um, so I've kept the ones that I've read over and over again. On the tops, a lot of those are books that I read in college, or not college, high school, um, that are all like the same size as this like mass market paper book size. And these are all books that are that mass market paper book size. I just like them all together like that because again, size wise, it just looks better when they're all together. And then these are newspapers and magazines that I've been published in. Some of these are like places I've interned at in college, things like that. And then this shelf is my fiction shelf. Again, it's kind of in alphabetical order, but not really. Again, I put it in alphabetical order-ish and then I organize them by size. So we've got some books here. And a lot of this is about just trying to fit as many books as possible on a single shelf. There are some gaps in there because I know there are books that um, belong with specific authors like my Tata French's. I've loaned some out so I love some space there. Yeah, so I love spaces and places. Haha, <laughs> that rhymes. Um, to, <laughs> I'm real tired guys. To uh, fill in the gaps and also just as I'm reading books in general I'll probably want to put some books on here so I left a little bit of space here and there. On the top of this dresser, dresser, dresser are all of my unread books. I haven't like gone through these. I do want to call this a little bit because I know there are books here that I'm just not going to get to at all. And then in here I have more books. These are more fiction books. These are like the last half of the alphabet right down here. This one's completely filled and then this one is not completely filled yet. I used to have both of these drawers completely filled with books and then I also had the third drawer almost completely filled with books. So to show you what I've gotten rid of, these are all the books that I'm getting rid of. Um, I'm not going to do an unhauling video because I don't really have a lot to say about these books. They're all just books either I read almost all of these and I just either didn't like them or I didn't love them enough to want to keep them. So I decided that I would just toss them if I don't have a very strong attachment to any of them. <sighs> so yeah, that's it. Um, I'm super exhausted now and I'm going to go watch some Gilmore Girls and read for the rest of the night because I have done more than enough work for the day. Alright, bye guys.